to another lecture in this video we will be discussing about heat exchangers what are heat exchangers heat exchangers simply devices which are exchanging heat between two fluids that are at different temperatures you can see the application of heat exchangers in many areas here you are seeing a, a cooling system of an automobile where you can see the radiator which is placed here and then radiator is, as, is an essentially a heat exchanger which will be used for cooling the coolant uh, which is coming from the engine engine block will be at a higher temperature and you have to maintain the temperature of this block to minimum so the coolant which is usually water based will be carried from the engine block to the radiator in radiator this will be flowing within the tubes so the engine coolant which is having higher temperature will be cooled by flowing air around this uh, tube in radiator and the cooled uh, lubricants will be transferred again to the engine so this radiator is an essentially a heat exchanger where there is an exchange of heat between two fluids are taking place similarly you can find the application of heat exchanges in the uh, condenser evaporators of a refrigeration and air conditioning system and also in uh, several fruit processing units several uh, space applications you can see the heat exchangers so here we will be analyzing the heat exchangers in this um, topic so as an introduction first we will be looking for the different classification of heat exchangers there are many classification of heat exchangers are there but here we will be discussing only the two important classification one is based on the constructional features and the other based on flow arrangement based on construction it is classified into tubular heat exchangers and shell and tube heat exchangers based on flow arrangement it is classified into parallel flow heat exchangers and counter flow and cross flow heat exchangers first we will be seeing the tubular heat exchangers these are also known as double pipe heat exchangers where there will be a pipe will be there through which a fluid will be flowing which i am naming it as hot fluid which will be losing heat around this tube there will be another tube whose annular portions will be used for heat exchanger this red portion will be carrying the second fluid which is known as cold fluid their corresponding inlet and outlets are shown so whenever it is flowing the hot fluid which is flowing through the yellow tube will be transferring heat with the fluid which is passing through the annular red portion so there is an exchange of heat will be transferring this is known as tubular or double pipe heat exchangers there is another type of heat exchangers based on the constructional features which is shell and tube heat exchanger here a collection of tube which is known as tube bundles will be used through which fluid will be flowing and this entire tube bundle will be kept inside a shell this gray colors are representing the space in between the tubes and as well as within the shell and the two ends will be closed by this hemispherical dome ends so yellow color is representing the flow or the region where one fluid is filling and the gray portion is representing the portion where the second fluid is filling the yellow will be known as tube fluid and gray will be known as shell fluid here you can see hot fluid is getting in at the left dome end it is getting splitted or flowing through the tubes and it will be collected at the right end as the hot fluid out and the cold fluid will be flowing through the shell portion which is getting at the uh, left top portion and this will be flowing through the shell portion covering the uh, tube surfaces so there will be an exchange of heat between the tube fluid as well as shell fluid and we will be naming the shell and tube heat exchangers based on the term which is known as pass pass means how many times the fluid is moving from one side to another side one side to another side means left to right or right to left here you can see the hot fluid is getting in and it is moving from left to right and it is exiting here so there is a single pass for the tube fluid yellow fluid and here also you can see the cold fluid is or shell fluid is getting in and it is moving towards right and it is exiting so there is a single pass for cold fluid also so we will be naming this one as the baffles are shown also here baffles will be used for creating the turbulence within the shell fluid and this will be known as one shell pass one tube pass as both the tube as well as shell fluid are moving from one side to another side only next is we will be seeing another uh, shell and tube heat exchanger here tube bundle is there which is placed inside the shell dome ends are there 
and here i will be separating the left dome by this plate so that this portion will be portion in the left dome will be separated so here hot fluid will be coming at the left top dome portion it will be flowing through the tube and again this will be collected at the right and traveling back through the bottom two bundles and finally it will be getting exited at this portion since this plate is separating the left dome here you can see the tube fluid is moving from left to right one pass and again right to left so here you can call it as a two tube pass and here the shell fluid will be entering at this top left portion and it will be flowing from uh, left to right and it will be exiting here so here shell is passing or shell fluid is having a single pass and here also baffles will be in between the shell portion which will be providing a turbulence effect which increases the heat transfer within this heat exchanger so this will be known as one shell pass and two tube pass shell and tube heat exchangers next classification is based on the flow arrangement first one is known as parallel flow heat exchangers here hot and cold fluids will be entering at the same end and they travel in the same direction it is also known as concurrent heat exchangers here you can see hot fluid is moving from left to right through this tube this is actually a tubular or double pipe heat exchanger and cold fluid is also moving from left to right here both the fluids are moving in the same direction so it is known as parallel flow heat exchangers another one is counter flow heat exchangers here you can see hot and cold fluids are entering at the opposite ends and they flows in opposite direction here hot fluid is moving from left to right and cold fluid is moving from right to left this is known as counter flow heat exchangers and the third type based on flow arrangement is known as cross flow heat exchangers here the fluids will be flowing at the right angles to each other here you can see in this figure tubes are there through which one fluid will be flowing which is unmixed as it is flowing inside the tubes here gas will be made to flow along the surface or around the surface of these tubes which you can see there is no partition or there is a regular flow for gas is not provided so here one fluid will be mixed this is an example for cross flow where two fluids are flowing at a 90 degree here you can see tubes are there through which fluid will be flowing so tube fluid is unmixed and gas will be flowing in such a way that an arrangement will be provided there is no mixing for the gas along the different regions around the tube so this is a case where both the fluids are unmixed anyway both these figures are giving example for cross flow heat exchangers so based on the constructional features there are another types also but as far as our syllabus is concerned concerned we will be studying about tubular or double pipe and shell and tube and based on flow arrangement we will be majorly analyzing parallel and counter flow heat exchangers next we will be seeing the temperature distribution in parallel flow heat exchangers in parallel parallel flow both are flowing in same direction here hot fluid will be entering here and it is moving in the left to right so during this motion or flow the hot fluid will be losing its temperature that variation temperature along this length of heat exchanger will be plotting similarly cold fluid is entering here and it is moving left to right so during this movement or flow this cold fluid will be gaining heat which is lost by the hot fluid so whose temperature will be vary so if you are drawing a plot of temperature variation of these two fluids across the length of the heat exchanger then this will be one the black curve is showing the variation of temperature of hot fluid where thi is the temperature of hot fluid at in and tho is the temperature of hot fluid at out here you can see it is reducing as it is losing heat and this lost heat will be gained by the cold fluid whose temperature variation is shown by the green curve where tci temperature of cold fluid at inlet is increasing to tco similarly you can have the temperature distribution for a counter flow heat exchangers where fluids are moving at the opposite direction here the black line is representing the loss or drop in temperature as the hot fluid is losing heat and cold fluid is entering at the right end so that tci temperature of cold at inlet will be coming here and it is increasing as it flows in opposite direction by gaining heat from the hot fluid this is the temperature distribution of counter flow heat exchangers which will be 
used or which will be required for analyzing the heat exchangers so this is an as an introduction to the heat exchangers based on this different terminologies classification or types as well as uh, this temperature distributions we will be analyzing the heat exchangers in detail in coming videos so thank you in next video we will be discussing about the overall heat transfer coefficient